Saquon Barkley is currently leading the NFL with 570 scrimmage yards through four games, as I predicted before the season. Here's the question. <laughs> is he – t- so I just throw out a lot of predictions. Some of them stick. Uh, you know, Lamar Jackson, uh, you know, <laughs> he's going to have this many touchdowns. Saquon Barkley yards. Is, is Saquon – Key, I didn't play. This is all I got. Is Saquon a top 10 player in the NFL right now, Key? Top 10 player in the NFL right now. He's blocking for Daniel Jones on those. He pro- I mean, yeah, I mean, I-, I could probably find nine guys that's playing good football and, and stack them up, but he probably would be in that list. Mm-hmm. You know, he probably would be in that list because, of, you know, you got quarterbacks, right? You got to you, you go have Patrick Mahomes and in and, and Josh Allen and, and and all the QBs. So you got like five, six quarterbacks, and then you got some receivers and a defensive player here. Or if you go by there, position, key, Michael Parsons. If you go by position and you're the best at your position, there are eleven positions, right? And the offensive line, you're not going to take a left guard, right guard. So, so if you're the best at your position, you probably are around top ten, right? He's not a top ten guys. Uh, he's not. He's not well, a top ten key offense. because I, I I devalue the running back position. I think he's having. Oh, a, I don't. I, I don't devalue it at all. Well, I do because of the injury rate and what I've seen with Saquon Barkley over the course of his career and with other running backs. I think ta- Saquon is playing like a top ten no, player. Wait, but why is the injury rate affect? Like injury rate shouldn't affect how you value Man, him Jay, at the moment because he's not injured. Jay, right I now. play with I play with Curtis Martin, who's a Hall of Famer. I play with Ward Dunn, who's ridiculous, and I play with Mike Allstott, Michael Pittman. Them dudes, I can't devalue. I don't know why. I mean, they did so much for our teams in because they're the easier to replace. The idea is key that that it's not that they don't what they don't do is important or difficult. It's that other people can do the job more or less, even if it's a little less like them. It's much harder to to approximate. Uh, uh, you, a, a number one receiver, than it so, is to approximate a number one back is he, the idea. He, here's why I don't think he's top ten. Let's go. I, I can go through ten players right now that I think I would take go with ahead. the way they're playing over Saquon. And I, lo- I love Saquon. I'm go a ahead. Giants fan. Yep. I would take Hater. Aaron Donald. One. I would take Aaron Rodgers. Would he you not? N- not right now. He's not been playing better, but you wouldn't. Take I got a- you wouldn't. <laughs> Max Kellerman. Yes. Max me hates up. Aaron Rodgers. No. What is Ke- I, I can't understand. Like you hate no, hold on. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wait, wait, wait. There's two separate questions. Would I take Aaron Rodgers or Saquon? Of course. But if we're saying how have they played so far this year, Max, Saquon's been a better running back so far this year than Aaron Rodgers has been a quarterback. That's so not far true. This year. That's not true. Oh, That's not on. true. Is, has Aaron Rodgers been the best quarterback in football this year so far? Aaron Rodgers. Saquon's the best running back in football. I mean, Max. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is dropping dimes on Thank you. Man. Is he the best quarterback the in football right now? His he, statistics does doesn't say that. Do you think he has been, his, Key? He's been flawless as far as I'm okay. concerned. All right. All right, consensus win on that one. We, we'll take, I mean, I, I, we'll I think Aaron there are a handful of quarterbacks okay, so, so far who've played he better He threw than a pick six at home last week against the New England Patriots. You'll never see that again. Mm. Right. You won't see that's it at all. second one at home, and it's, sure. it's stupid. Sure, good. Okay, so that's two. Okay, Patrick Mahomes. Key, cool with that? Okay. Uh, hey, got, just read. Gotcha. Josh Allen? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cooper Cup? Season-wise? Okay, that's why. I mean. Cooper Cup's been very good. Devontae Adams? Justin Jefferson? No no on Devontae so far Micah this year. Micah Parsons? Parsons, yes. Let's, let, let, let's leave quarterbacks aside for a second because quarterback is well, so important. But you can't leave quarterbacks but the, aside. But what I'm saying you, is quarterback is so important to the team. A running back will, ne- of course, a quarterback – um, I, really, what we're talking about is for his position. He's but no, 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 that one. wasn't the question. The question was, is he a top 10 player in the league? The question was, is he a top player at his position or top three at his position? Top 10 player in the league. So that has to let's, include Let's change it to top 10 non-quarterbacks. <laughs> Because otherwise it becomes a quarterback list, guys. You want to just do a quarterback list? I said that at the top. I said, I said at the top, Max. You're going to pick – you say in right. top ten. There's going to be six quarterbacks in front of him. Then there's going to be a couple receivers. Sure. They're going to be Aaron Donald and Michael Parsons. Can there's going to be quarterbacks please? There's going to be fine. those guys, fine. Max. Fine. So let's do non-quarterbacks because otherwise – Max Crosby might be it. in front of him, and he's a kicker. Okay, let's talk about non-quarterbacks. Is he a top ten non-quarterback in the league? Yes. Key? Just slow it down. Let me think. 
he's right around, he's playing right around that 10 to 15 mark. Okay. 10 to 15. I think Saquon has been so much better than all the other running backs so far this year that that unless you say running back, see, Jay, there's a difference in saying running backs are not important because you can approximate a running back with another guy. But sometimes a guy pops so much over the next I understand guy, that. See, and it's harder to approximate him. Like, I see, don't, there's guys in San Francisco like Debo Samuel mm, that mm. plays a little bit of both, receiver, running back, this, that, and the other. Yep. So when you start saying, well, Saquon is this and he's doing better than that, I love Saquon. I think Saquon, I, I want him to go to a team that can win a championship for him before things run out. He run out of gas. But when you start Bills, talking about top to players, it's very difficult to pin down where he fits in those top players. Certainly, if you add quarterbacks to the mix, he's not even he's nowhere near Let's leave top quarterbacks. Team. Alex is good. It's boring. If it's you if if Max, yeah, come on now. <laughs> if I mean, what Saquon's been able to do with the subpar ears? offensive yes, line? Yes, you got to clean out your ears, Max. I mean, really, the only cop rules. I mean. He's part of the Swift, offensive line the way he blocks. Swift, now. Jonathan Taylor, but now Jonathan Taylor's hurt. I mean, there's really nobody playing better. No, he, he look, nobody at the position running back wise is doing what Saquon is doing. There's no question yeah. about it. I love Saquon Barkley. I, I think he's powerful. He's low center to the ground. He can, He's shifty. He knows the, how to jump cut. All of those sort of things is just ridiculous. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. Defensive backs don't want to see him coming around that mm-hmm. corner. And, and so. He is an offense alignment's dream. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.